Hello, in this week's video we're looking at using Google Slides to create printable activity sheets. So Google Slides is one of the most flexible tools within the Google Apps toolkit. Uh, and what I tend to do to start with, I've started creating a lot of paper-based uh, resources for my for my classes. Uh, if you want to do some group work, you're not always in a, in a computer room or students don't always have access to technology. So making activity sheets is a great way to get them involved and engaged. I find what I can, I tend to use it for is when I'm wanting to present a new topic, instead of me just standing at the front and going through a number of different slides, I make them into activity sheets that I share with the students and then they present the different elements. So to start with, we go into page setup. And what we can do is from the options, we can choose custom and then we can choose centimeters and we can create uh, an A4 size, so that's a common size here used in the UK. So 29.7 by 21 is an A4 paper size. Having done that, we can use the shape tool to create a border for each of our activity cards. Uh, and you can just drag and drop that. Having done that, you can alter the color of the border and selecting this one you can alter the border weight so let's go with a, a four pixels we then continue to use shapes and this time i'm going to add a, a title for our activity sheet and again we can alter the border and the fill color in the case of the header with shapes that you've inserted if you double click on them you can add they become text box so we're just going to add some text in here and we can select that uh, make it white as white and blue looks good and let's say 24 point uh, maybe a little bit bigger let's go with 48 point we can then just use the space bar to center that and then we can add a final shape and that may be our activity description there so again, double clicking on it, we could add Obviously you could fill that with all with text, your, your description of what you want them to do, what they need to have finished by the end of the, the activity. Um, I tend to make the text the same color, so we'll make that the same color as the box. We'll increase the text size, and you'd have your different stages and what you want them to do listed there. If you want them to link to something, so resourcing that they're going to use in conjunction with the activity sheets, then a QR code is a good way to do that. So here's a QR code I've created already. I can drag it into position. A little tip, if you want fine adjustments, you can use the arrow keys on the keyboard just to move the image to where you want it. If you want to crop the image at all, if you double click on the image, you can then pick up the black handles at the side and just adjust it to get it as you want it. Being careful not to pick up the blue at handles, otherwise that will move the image within the box. So I'm happy with that. You can see at the moment there's a border there, so if you don't want a border around it, we can either make it transparent or we can just turn it to one pixel width. So we've got our, our QR code. And there you have one side of your activity sheet. All you need to do then is select one element and then do Control or Command A, Command V, and then use your move to move your items to the position where you want them. So we've got our second activity sheet, and we can update that and we can populate that 
as we want it. And then when we're happy with, with both of those elements, we can just duplicate the slide and we can carry on updating the activity sheet. So potentially we could change the color on each of the components and away we go. So very quickly and very easily you've got yourself a a set of activity sheets that you can then print out, cut down the middle and hand them to your students. If you're printing double sided you could also have information on both sides of the cards. So slide one would be the top and slide two would be the bottom. So it's possible to do that as well. So they have a very quick way of creating activity cards. When it comes to printing them you can, if you choose one slide without notes, it will give you the layout that you need. So if you found the video useful, please share it, subscribe to the channel and join me again soon for more EdTech videos. Thanks for watching.